Hello friends, Hemant Raj back with another tech tutorial. You are watching Tech Tutorix and in this tutorial I will be guiding you guys how you can make a portable USB drive of Windows 7. So let's get started. First open your Chrome web browser and type in powerISO.com or simply go to the link in the description below this video you will be redirected to this page. And over here you will find two buttons that is power ISO for a 32 bit and the power ISO for a 64 bit. According to your system architecture, you can download any one. I have already downloaded power ISO for my system, and in this tutorial, I am using a previous version of power ISO. It is a version 6.2, and you will be downloading the version 6.6, .6, that is the latest version. I am unable to take a tutorial in the latest version. So I am guiding you guys in the older version of power ISO that is version 6.2. I have already a key with me for the version 6.2. So I will simply open the installation. Both the version of power ISO are almost similar. So you can follow with me. So I don't want any extra things. So click on next and this one. And here select the destination folder in which you want to install this power ISO. So click on the install button. Your power ISO will be installed. Click on the next and leave these settings to the default ones and close it. After installing the power ISO, you can see that the ISO of Windows 7 has changed into its symbol. It means that it has supported the ISO of Windows 7. Simply open the ISO of Windows 7 and wait for 5 seconds and click on continue unregistered. So over here, you can find the fourth tab that is tools. By clicking on it, you need to go and select create bootable USB drive and in order to use this function you need to enable the administration mode of the PC so simply click on the OK button to enable the administration permission of the PC for the unregistered wait for 5 seconds and over here you can see that the destination USB drive is set to 7GB Sony USB drive and over here you need to select the source image file that is Windows 7 so click on the browse file and go to desktop it is located in the desktop so over here click on the windows 7 64 bit and click on open after it is completed simply click on the start button and over here we get a warning that is all data will be overwritten and do you want to continue simply click on the ok button and your writing will start after the successful writing you can use the pen drive as a bootable pen drive for windows 7 operating system so that's it for this video guys if you like this video give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you are new to our channel subscribe to our channel this is Hemant Raj signing off from the Tech Tricks.